This is a 1963 and a half Ford Galaxy 500 Fastback. This is the first year they switched over to the Fastback in the Galaxy. They did it halfway through the year. And the keys are found on the left side of the steering wheel instead of the right. And you barely touch the key on this thing. She fires right up. This car, in a word, for its price, is absolutely stunning. It's a gorgeous driver. It is not a show car. This is this is not Barrett Jackson. But I'm going to tell you what: if you had a if you had done a car like this in a show quality, this exact same restoration, same wheels, same paint, color, same interior, all that stuff, this would be a thirty-five, forty-five thousand dollar car. I mean, these things they go high when they're show. But why would you want to have a car like that when you can have one like this for less than half the price and you can actually drive it? Not just look at it in your garage. This car is beautiful. Black on black. I've got the original wheels with brand new tires on the car. Uh, if you want those instead of the wheels that are on it right now, what I've got on it right now are some 17 inch uh, American Racing Wheel Gunmetal Gray with a chrome lip. They look stunning. Uh, nine inch in the back with the lip exposure, eight inches in the front, directional tires, and they make this car look so awesome. It drives fantastic. engine's recently rebuilt. It purrs like a kitten. Runs fantastic. Brand new exhaust. Transmission's also been rebuilt. The undercarriage of this car looks like brand new. It is in great shape. No rust on the entire car. Not even a bubble. It's got a gorgeous driver quality paint job. And when I say that, that means you know, this is like a $3,000 paint job, not a $10,000 paint job. Absolutely beautiful. The car tracks straight and true. I can put my finger here you can so you can see while I'm cruising. Cruises down the road great. I love this car because it's basically all original. It is all original matching numbers as far as the uh, drivetrain goes. An original black car. And uh, I've got the original title for this car from 1963. It's a two owner vehicle. It's got an original 89,000 miles on it. I am driving this car and I'm gonna put some miles on it because it's just too nice to sit inside. Most of the time we drive convertibles, but it's gotten a little chilly, so switching over to the fastback. Brake lights, turn signals work. Um, having a little bit of trouble with the headlight switch, not sure why, because all the other lights work fine. May need a new headlight switch. that turn signal. Turn signals work. I'm steering obviously with one hand. 
And actually this is manual steering, manual drum brakes. It doesn't have power steering or power brakes. I hope you can hear that transmission shifts out perfect. But the only time that this car is really hard to steer is if you're stopped. You might have a little trouble, you know, getting into a really tight parking spot. But you know, this is also a ginormous car, so even if you had power steering, you'd probably have trouble getting in a tight parking spot anyway. This car wasn't built for tight spark parking spots. It was built to park out at the end of the out at the end of the parking lot where everybody can see it. I'm gonna pull over in the church parking lot up here and show you around the car. I I'm just in love with this thing. It is beautiful. It drives great. Uh, this is the kind of car that just exemplifies what we do at Peachtree Classic Cars. We really specialize in driver restorations under $20,000. You know, and that, that's what we're all about. I'm all about affordable cars that can actually be driven. I am not into trailer queens. I don't probably ever want to get into those cars. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love high dollar cars too. But gosh, you know, I want to be able to drive my car and park it at the grocery store and not be so scared that somebody's going to hit it. You know, when they open the door, whatever. It's got a Flowmaster style exhaust system on it. True duals, sounds great. If you get into the pedal, it's got a really nice aggressive tone to it. But the cool thing is while you're cruising, it's not overwhelming or overbearing on your ears. This is an X-Code car. It's got a 352 four barrel. It's got a very beautiful engine detail. It's got a nice set of Edelbrock matching air cleaner and valve covers. You can just hear the car though. So clean, so nice sounding. Hinges, nice thing about this one, is that when you close the hood down, you don't have to go to the back and push the hinges down, which you do on most of them. You might want to do it on this one just a hair, but let me show you the inside of the car. Come in here and shut it off, and then I'll show you around the outside. Now the door panels are original, and they're extremely hard to find um, the replacements for, so most guys shy away from restoring door panels on these cars so it's not hundred percent perfect it's a it's got one little tear in the um, in that spot right there and this has got a little wrinkle in it now the seats in the in the in the headliner and everything are new my only minor qualm might be that they put the white headliner in but that's how they came from the factory they came from the factory with black interior with a white headliner of course it's got the all original dash and it's in fantastic shape Usually they're really weathered, but keep in mind, this car only has 89,000 miles on it. The dashboard looks fantastic, and I'm also talking about the bezel and the front and everything. I'm hoping that you can catch that in the camera. I'm trying to go slow and see that that is not all worn down. This car has been garage kept. Door jam, I mean, uh, yeah, door jams was all jammed out nice when it was repainted. Back seat. With a rear tray custom covered. That did not come from the factory like that. But that's been custom done and that looks really, really beautiful. And all the door, all the windows roll up and down like they're supposed to. Very nice and easy. That's the original uh, True Light um, windows in the car. I mean, this is a car that was really well taken care of. I mean, when you've still got the original title, and I've got the original book. Oh, and by the way, I think I even put that in the glove box. Can you tell how excited I am about this car? I love this thing. Now it's got the original door handle on it. Let me see if I can zoom in. So it does have a touch of pitting on it. It's not brand new. I think for the sake of the, having the video, I put this in here. So here we have the original 1963 Ford registered owner's manual. And this is what you got when you bought the car. I don't know if I can zoom to where you can read this or not. Unfortunately, I'm afraid you can't. But it says James Carl Godfrey, 
Um, and then I've got